next leg of our exploration of West Dorset, Janet's taking me up the coast to Bridport to a rather special butcher. One famous for more than just their faggots. Hello. Hello, Janet. Now, are you really the oldest butchers? Not just the oldest butchers. Yeah, because you don't England's look that old. oldest family business, 499 years old. So it's very much always from this area, sorry. You're the historian. 50, yeah. Was that in the reign of Henry VIII? Henry VIII. Yeah. Really? Uh, Anne Boleyn was born in 1515. You didn't oh. turn her head into a faggot, did you? <laughs> no, no, there wouldn't, <laughs> have, been, there wouldn't have been enough meat on it, Janet. <laughs> now, are there some things you sell now that you can trace back to Tudor England? Well, two of our oldest recipes are our home recipe faggots and our English pork sausages, which have been in the family for a very long time, and obviously those recipes are top secret. What's a faggot? A faggot is basically is a cooked meatball. It's pork, liver, sage, onion and potato. What's that wrapped around the faggot? What's wrapped around the faggot is the pig's... It's what they call ketcher. It's a pig's core, which is a... It's a sort of... Some um, lining, is it not? Yes, yeah. it is. It's a, it's a little fat membrane which uh, keeps the faggot together, really. And, and unless that's got that on it, which a lot of faggots don't these days. It's not really a faggot. That is a traditional way of doing a faggot. Is that a faggot there? Yes. That's a cooked one? Yes. Can I taste it? You can. Go on, then. But remember, normally you should eat these with yeah, gravy. Usually, they've been cooked today. All right. But you'd, you'd normally have it with gravy and mushy peas. And what it will do, it'll make you see in the dark, make your hair curl, and, and put hairs on your chest. And as a woman, you probably don't want that. I don't want the hairs, no. Curly hair, no, don't want that either. Some people what fry that. Here? White pepper. A bit of pepper in there. Yeah, yeah. white pepper. Yeah. Some don't people know. fry it and they do it in a heat it like that and, and make faggot sandwiches. Other people oh, uh, boil it up with mash. It's great. I'll tell you why I like it. I was prepared to loathe it. I don't know what I thought it was. Yeah. Some second division version of a haggis. Yeah, well, they say haggis is similar, but, but obviously no, it's, it's a lot different. more peppery. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a lot more peppery, a haggis. But, I mean, that is, it's lovely. I mean, we sell we sell four, five, six hundred of them every week. just depends on the weather and everything else. But uh, you So know. you've got a lot of people walking around Bridgeport who see in the dark? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's, Bridgeport's a bit like that. Can we taste the sausages, please? You can taste the sausages, yeah. yeah. Here we go. This is our traditional... Breakfast chipolata, you try them. Yeah. Now, I take it that's the same recipe as the bigger sausages? Yes, it is. Okay. It's exactly the same recipe, it's just in a smaller intestine skin. Quite meaty, aren't they? Yeah, they are. There's a very high meat content there, lovely. Yeah, sometimes if you get a lot of meat, they're quite dry, but yeah. these aren't no, dry. No, 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 no. Do you know what I like about those? It's a, an all round flavour. Yeah. And it's nice and meaty, but as you say, it's not dry. It's got a nice balance to it. Yeah, lovely. Very nice. Full bodied. Full Me? Body. Oh, that? <laughs> yeah, perfect. Just like Brian, in fact, aren't they? <laughs> you said it, Richard! <laughs>